What's going on guys and welcome to today's video and I've got a really interesting one for you guys today and it's about self-investment. Now for those of you that like to take notes, uh, I do recommend you taking notes on this video, you don't get uh, pen and paper, just pause the video, get, get a little notebook and uh, make sure you write notes on this video. Uh, so anyway, like I said, this video is going to be about self-improvement and what I want to talk to you guys about is reading. Now studies have shown that after uni, after school, after all that lot, um, most people only read like a, what maximal one book a year. One book a year, which for me that is just mind blowing because I, I do love reading. I, le I read like, uh, try and get like an hour of reading in a day. Uh, Gotta be honest, like it do, I don't always get an hour in every day, but you know that's what I aim for every single day. And uh, I was actually looking at what other, I was gonna say like what billionaires, millionaires, what entrepreneurs, like how much they actually read. And it turns out that uh, Warren Buffett, uh, you know, like the the big uh, American entrepreneur, he reads five to six hours a day. He tries to get in five hundred pages of reading a day, which that is so much that he says like he he tries to dedicate at least 80% of his like spare time to reading, which is that, that, that for me, when I read that, I was like, oh my God, like I've got a lot of catching up to do if I want to get to that point. Uh, another one, Mark Cuban, uh, another a big American entrepreneur, tries to get in three to four hours of reading in a day. Uh, we also got Tim Ferriss, he said on um, one of his podcasts, he said that he tries to read three to four books a week. You know, just think like the average person, one book a year, Tim Ferriss, three, three to four books a week. Like that, the difference is insane. You know, we also got uh, Bill Gates tries to get in a book. I think a book every two weeks, something like that. Um, like obviously he doesn't read as much as the others, but still, like one to two books a week or one book every two weeks. That is, you know, that is insane. That's that is just next level. And for me, like as soon as I read that, I just started wondering, like, they know something that you know they know something we don't. Why are they reading so much? And the whole point is, like, they're investing in themselves. They're trying to invest in their own brains. You know, they know that they, like, you can you can spend money, you can buy, you know, all the stuff you want. Like, you can buy trainees that'll last you a few weeks, and then you know, they get dirty, they'll break or whatever. Uh, time and like, money comes and goes. Time just goes. Like, once you you spend your time, that's it. But if you invest in yourself, like, if you uh, attain knowledge, if you if you get knowledge, if you learn something, then that sticks with you forever. Like, you can take the money off, yeah, you can, you know, you can take your house or whatever, but the knowledge, you've got that knowledge, the knowledge will never leave you. Once you've got it, it's yours forever. So anyway, like I said, I'm a big uh, fan of reading myself, and it's like, not necessarily a conversation starter, but when I'm in new situations and I'm getting to know someone, I always like to ask them, like, do you read, do you like reading, stuff like that. And I got a comment the other day, or an answer the other day, someone said, um, no, I don't like reading, because why should I read if... I can also like search for it on YouTube or Google it or something like that. And I understand that person's point. Like obviously nowadays you can't just Google it. But like who are we to think that we do not need to read anymore? You know what I mean? Why? Like if that was the case, then why are Warren, like Warren Buffett, um, you know, why, are, why is Tim Ferriss reading so much? Why are they reading so many books a week? You know, if, if that was true, if, if you can just Google anything, then why are they still reading? Why is they still spending so much time investing in themselves? Like, honestly, guys, reading is the key to success. You know, attaining knowledge. Like, if you Google something quickly, chances are you will forget it. But if you read a book about it, if you really, like, you know, get into the chapters, you know, understand the examples and stuff like that, you, that knowledge will stick with you forever. So who are we to think that, you know, we do not need to read or that? Uh, like, another, like, a lot of people, they go through phases when they're, like, sort of, like, starting their own business. They, they they start with reading, they start with courses, and then there's like a certain point where they say, I don't need to read anymore, I'm in execution mode. Again, I respect that you're taking action, I respect that you're in execution mode, but again, who are we to think that we don't need to read anymore? Like, like you know, I've been through the phase where, you know, you do all the studying, then you go through a phase where you execute, but still in my execution phase, like still now while I'm taking action, I'm still reading, I'm still trying to gain knowledge, I'm still doing courses, you know, I'm still trying to, uh, read up on topics that I'm not as knowledgeable about or I want to know more about or if there's something new comes out I'm still trying to learn it like you know we are we are so much lower than I, I, I can't even 
get me weird on properly but we are so much lower than like the warren buffett's the bill gates and stuff like that and there's a reason for that and that's because they are investing so much more time in themselves than we are at the moment so like next time you 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 know you want to chill for a bit you want to open netflix or you want to watch a series watch peaky blinders or whatever great series by the way um but you know next time you're in that situation just think i could also be investing in myself now i could also be reading the book I could also be uh, looking through a course or anything like that. So like, the call to action of this video is going to be the next time you actually see a course or a book, just buy it. Just invest in yourself because you are worth it. You know, I, it's funny because people, like, they'll, they'll go to town, they'll buy a pair of trainees. And, you know, if a trainee is like 100 euros, 120 euros, they think, oh, yeah, that's worth it. You know, might as well. And then as soon as they go into a bookshop and they see 30, they're like... 30 euros for a book that's that's steep that and i think to myself like why why is 120 euros for a pair of trainees okay but 30 for a book like knowledge that stays with you forever why is that a lot of money you know like that is money well spent in my opinion the trainees they will either go out of style you'll either uh, you know they'll either uh, wear and tear you know they'll get dirty or whatever but that book the knowledge out of that book if you read it if you take action on it it's going to be so much more valuable than the trainees that you buy and obviously that is just uh, a quick little example or just off the top of my head but i hope you understand what i'm trying to say like you know you can invest your money in so many different things but investing in knowledge investing in yourself that is going to be the best investment you can ever do another interesting thing that i read the other day on the internet was uh, it was an interview of charlie munger again like one of the greatest minds of the 20th century and he said if it wasn't for the stupidity of the people we wouldn't be so rich if it wasn't for the stupidity of the people we wouldn't be so rich like what does he mean by that that means that he knows something that we don't and again you know it all comes down to reading investing in yourself investing your time wisely you know investing in knowledge investing in courses trying to gain as much knowledge as possible because like i said at the start of the video you know money comes and goes time just goes so spend it wisely and like the knowledge that you gain will stick with you forever and like it's it, obviously it all comes down to mindset as well you know have you got a poor man's mindset or have you got a rich man's mindset and you need to just distinguish like the difference between the two you know go out google it or try and understand the, the two concepts and um again off the top of my head well why are lottery winners uh, why are 70 percent of all lottery winners poor within a few years it's because they've still got that poor man's mindset they haven't understood the value of uh, the time you know they don't understand like what you can do with the money they don't understand how to invest because from one day to the next they became like multi-millionaires or whatever and they've still got that poor man's mindset there's they're still in that like scarcity frame of mind the obviously like the first thing they do they go out they're gonna go on holiday they're gonna buy a lambo or something like that you know they're gonna spend it on liabilities they're gonna spend it on stupid stuff rather than in themselves or in assets again it's all the difference between poor man's mindset rich man's mindset and um with that said uh obviously like there's a bit of a plug in this video but i do want to say that i am actually bringing out my own ebook which is going to be released in, in to be honest you know what i will actually release this video at the time that the book gets released as well so uh, the ebook is going to be released now um, i will put the link in the description box down below this ebook is going to be out living life on your own terms it's also going to be called lifestyle design playbook and what i want is i want people to just look at the life the way it is now and think about their dream life their whole dream lifestyle and just figure out a way to create that dream lifestyle that's like design the life of your dreams and i want to just give you like various online business models to do that you know to be location independent to be financially independent and what you can do how to do it and like actually give you the foundation uh, to various online business models whether that is drop shipping whether that's amazon fba whether that is social media marketing, whether that is personal branding, I don't care which one you pick. I just want you to pick one. I want you to understand all the concepts. I want you to pick one of those concepts that you like or that think that you think fits your lifestyle best, and then go all in. You know, go all in, burn your ships. You know, don't even look back. Just execute on the knowledge or the information that are given in that ebook. And I, the reason, like one of the reasons why I've actually written this ebook is because. I've noticed that a lot of people they preach so much about their their uh, their financial vehicle. Like you've got people that will do drop shipping, they'll get a bit of money or they'll earn a bit of money off it, and then that's it. Drop shipping is the be all end all, best 
financial vehicle there is and all the other financial vehicles aren't good enough or they are you know not as effective and the same goes for someone else's social media they'll say that that is the best financial vehicle there is and i don't want to be one of those guys i want to actually give you uh like information about all the tools and i want you just to pick one tool and then just go with that so instead of saying which one is the best i'm actually giving you uh, like different options and i want you to have an honest basic understanding of all the options that are available to you pick one and that's it you're going to go all in anyway guys a bit of a ranty video but i just wanted to get off my chest like i said investing in yourself is the most important thing you can do and with that said my ebook is in the description box down below uh, like this video if you got something out of it comment down below if you've actually purchased my ebook and what you, you think of it what your thoughts are give me feedback i'd love to know obviously it's going to be like the first digital product and if i'm ever going to take bring out like another product i do want to know like what you guys thought of the first one what can i do to improve anyway subscribe to the channel for more and i hope to see you soon gotta do what i gotta do